Hello everyone and welcome back to Mahjong Soul. My name is Yi Sung. We're still trying to chase our goal of getting out of the expert rank and into the master rank. Last video, we don't talk about last video, okay? On this channel, we don't talk about last video. Although, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm scared out of my mind. This isn't, not to bring up like a, not to use the word trauma unnecessarily, but this is not the first time I've gotten up to expert two star rank and gotten my butt kicked all the way back down to expert one star rank. I'm scared out of my mind, okay? Not only am I asking you to like and subscribe, I'm asking you to hold me in a moment of emotional vulnerability, okay? So let's jump back into it. I think if we were to take any lessons from last time, maybe we were a little greedy in the hands that we were going for, and maybe we should just go for faster, more efficient hands. Or maybe it was just the, the players that we were playing with, but we have to focus. I'm I'm ready. I don't think that it's hopeless, and I still really, really want to get to uh, master rank to impress my friends. So hopefully that can happen here. Also, if you're if you're if you're new to Mahjong Soul, I hide, highly recommend checking out the the uh, temporary game mode from the Kayuga Kayuga Sama. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Love is War collab. It's really really fun. They have like extra conditions like hey all simples is super valuable it's or like uh uh calling richie costs like 2000 instead of 1000 points i know it seems very very small but it adds like a lot of dimension to this game and it's very very fun i m o so i recommend checking that out if you haven't already okay what do we have going on here this is an okay hand we got one shape here uh a pair here a pair here uh, another shape here and a red five that I'm gonna be honest, I would love to use. I would love to use this red five. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're gonna get the chance. The, the player across from us has already pawned the North Wind and the White Dragon, both valid Yaku in and, of, in and of themselves. So this is very spooky wooky, okay? We've entered an immediately spooky wooky situation. Um, this red five, I think that we can get rid of. Oh my God, that's terrifying, dude. Th that's terrifying. At least they discarded one, two of bamboo, so they, they're not, like, looking... I, I... Oh, God, what is this? So I was thinking about maybe going one, two, three in all three suits. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to get out of here alive now. <laughs> I'm just trying to get out of here alive now. And both of these are way too risky to discard in the face of the player across from us. So... So we're gonna keep those in our hand and try to do something with them. We know that this one and this two are probably safe to discard since they've already discarded one. Now a six and a seven, these are probably also safe to discard as well. We have, I I, I know what their hand probably doesn't have, like, you know, six, seven, eight, et cetera, et cetera. That seven drop is lovely for us because it allows us to discard a really risky tile and, and move forward with our hand. Two, three, four, okay. <laughs> Not only that, we have a great situation here. Uh, we're looking towards a pinfu hand. Now, if you're new to Mahjong, I'll re-explain. If you're old to Mahjong, bear with me. Um, pinfu is when you have all sequences, so four sequences, and a pair that's not valuable, okay? Hate to say it, but it's true. Um, and you end on a two-sided weight. So, for example, say we drew the three or the six of bamboo, we would be in pinfu because we've got all sequences, and we're waiting on the five or the eight. So that looks good for us. Unfortunately, we've run out of safe tiles to discard here. Dude. Okay, not punished, but really risky discard. I think there's also a world where we could have folded and discarded this 6-7. I'm going to be honest with you, too. This um, 9 should be safe. But this 2 of circles does not seem that safe to deal Uh. In, with regards to the player across from us this eight should be safe should be safe because they've discarded a seven again I, oh wait let's let's just take it let's just take a gander at our hand okay it's not that valuable i'm telling you right now it's not that valuable the only thing we could have gotten is pinfu and one red five so in the face of that let's just fold from now on i was pushing a little but i think that was a little reckless and we should play as if this player was in reachy um they already have the red dragon the white dragon and the um north wind which is their seat wind so it's a very very scary situation i think that the six can go 
and then the nines can go. The east wind, I know one of them's already gone, but in case they're going for something like, you know, all honors or something ridiculous like that, I don't want to fall into that trap, you know? Okay, six can go. These nines can definitely go. And if we end in tenpai, great. If we don't, that's okay. That's okay because I would rather not deal into this hand. Bartleby the Scrivener. Okay. Three of characters seeming uh, safe to discard as well. Hey, Sung, uh, what are you drinking? Is that oh, sludge water? Everybody. It's basically sludge water. It's what we in Los Angeles call a healthy green juice. I've, I've become fully uh, LA pilled in that I drink a lot of healthy juices now that I don't even know if they're really that healthy. Okay. I mean, we might be able to end in Tenpai if we, if we draw like a five here, but it would necessitate discarding this East Wind, which I don't know if I'm... I have the you-know-whats to discard. It's it's very, very scary. Okay, this five they've discarded, so we know it's safe. I'm so curious what their hand is going to look like at the end. I'm so curious what they're looking for. I mean, I, I, I was scared to discard this two of circles. Let's see if I was close. Mm, they were waiting on the five or the eight. That's actually very tricky because they discarded a, a lot of tiles around there. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm glad we didn't deal in. Okay, we are the dealer now. Um, ooh, kind of poopy, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Kind of, kind of poopy, this hand. This one can definitely go. The green dragon can definitely go. Um, seven, eight, nine. Maybe we can get a seven, eight, nine mixed triple sequence. That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad at all. We could go for a full outside hand, but these four of characters are a little in the way. I mean, drawing that one, two, it's making me feel a certain type of way. It's making me feel a certain type of way. Unfortunately... I I just have this feeling that it's a bad idea, dude. And and we draw the three. We draw the three, which is interesting. So, oh, don't make me do this, dude. I don't want to lock myself in. I don't. Show me a few more draws, and I'll and I'll be okay, dude. Do we just take this? I mean, what did I learn from last time? Was it don't open your hand? Because if what I learned from last time was don't open your hand, then this is really, really dumb. I'm going to skip for now. I know it hurts, dude. Also, oh god. Okay, uh, the dream is dead. You want to know why? Because I was an extremely bad Mahjong player. Not only that, I thought about it for so long. The nine of bamboo is now a dead tile. What does that mean? All of them have been discarded. So there's no chance in hell that we're finishing this 789 sequence, which is a real damn shame. Um, now let's just try to make a finishing hand rather than like a great, like awesome hand or whatever. Uh, six. Sure. I mean, the 7-8, I feel like, is probably like a sunk cost at this point. Maybe we should have called a little earlier. Like, say we had pawned the, the one of characters... Uh, maybe it would have been good. We could have discarded that we had to discard this two and the four We could have then done the seven eight nine. I mean, it's interesting. It's interesting But it, I think that like Two, I mean, it's a very nuanced game mahjong lol ever 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 roll your eyes at something that you say out loud It's a very nuanced game because there's so many decisions to be made And I don't know if any of them are necessarily the right one now what I pay real us tender a bunch of actual dollary dues to have a mahjong coach uh like watch me play in a heartbeat are you kidding me that sounds like a delightful afternoon I've, I've still been reading the mahjong book by dana chiba and it's been good i just uh it's a ton of new information all at once and i do think that the adage is true you get worse before you get better now is this a preemptive shield in case i start losing um a lot on the youtube channel maybe maybe uh but i also genuinely believe that it is true so i'm trying to put that into practice so now if you were looking at our hand what would be the finishing shape like maybe pair one sequence two sequences something here and then four sequences maybe maybe that could be something so this six doesn't really have a reason to stick around although it could improve some of our shapes down here Someone's thinking hard about the six of bamboo. That's okay. You do you. You're valid and heard and seen. Okay, we drew the three. That's cool. Um, now, if we wanted to play super efficiently... Okay, the nines are dead and the ones are dead. 
So we're screwed, right? So we can't... This is why it's important to see what's been discarded. Um, two nines have been discarded. Two ones have been discarded. We're not finishing either of those. Uh, how many eight of characters? One, two, three eight of characters have been discarded? What? Okay, th this is really tough now because we're waiting on one last eight of characters. And not only that... We can't open our hand to do it. We have no Yaku if if we if we chi the uh, eight of characters. We just have to draw it au natural, farm to table. 16 tiles left in the wall. Okay, at, at this point, we just play safe. At this point, we just play safe. Like, and, and playing safe means discarding the ones. Playing safe means discarding this one, not the six anymore. Just in case someone's approaching um, 10 pi or is just waiting on a on a sneaky hand that while not in Ricci can win at any second. I'm terrified of that. I, I think, I think <laughs> maybe I took too much of a, like, I read, like I'm taking, I'm drawing too big of a conclusion. Oh, see, this is why I didn't discard the nine of circles. No one had discarded it yet. Cool new character, by the way. So this player's kind of running away with it in first place. But hey, we're in third place, and we haven't been sucked into oblivion yet, which is really, really nice. So this is awesome. Why? We got a pair of the north winds sitting in the north seat. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, because those north winds are only going to be useful to us as a Yaku, so hopefully they get discarded soon. Unfortunately, the same could be said about the south wind, which is what we just gave to the, the player across from us. Um, What do we want to do here? I'm okay with discarding this east wind. So this this two unfortunately isn't helping us in any way, but it is the door, which makes me okay. There it is. Now we can discard this five. One sequence, two sequences, three sequences, four, five, six. So we have too many shapes in our hand. But you're seeing what I'm seeing, right? Um, we have a mixed triple sequence in seven, eight, nine, and all three suits. So maybe that's something that we can go for here. That's a little spicy, but you love to see it. The two, three, four is a is is a little too much for me because that means that um, we would have to come up with another pair somewhere, and I and I don't know if I could do that because like if we if we t if we took the two, three, four there um, uh, of characters, we would have to split up uh, either this or this. We would have too many shapes in our hand in order to continue. Okay, waiting for more sevens to be dropped. That'd be kind of sick. Like I'm a sneakerhead uh, with s s s average size feet. Take a sip directly into the water to show that you have no regard for uh, your YouTube audience whatsoever. I apologize. So this should be pretty goddamn obvious that I'm going for a 789 mixed triple sequence, okay? So the player to our left, unless they have a really, really great hand, should not drop a seven. They should absolutely not drop a seven. Now, if they if they uh, do a one, we definitely um, chi that because then we have a half outside hand too, and that's also very very valuable. Now it's a little trick. Oh my god, I can't believe they did that. They dropped a seven. Now we have an open seven eight nine, and we win off of the one or the four. Now winning on the one would taste way better because it'd be a half outside hand. It'd be a, uh, a, a lot more valuable winning on the four is okay though mixed triple sequence by itself is not bad um would be great if our hand was closed but as you can tell from the position of all these tiles we we win this one but uh we we, we got a lot of help from the player to our left great hand great hand great hand great hand chanta sanshoku dora all right pretty decent hand four thousand points you'll love to see it Stepping ourselves up to second place and widening the gap. Also, uh, widening the gap between the player to our left and ourselves, but also putting first place within within a, a earshot of us. So let's let's chase for first. I I, I don't want to play like a coward anymore. I've played like a coward my whole life. I'm ready for that to end. Two, three, four, four, five, five, seven, eight, nine. That's interesting. Um. I kind of want to... Dude, this 2 isn't that valuable. You're looking at this, and I think that if you were, like, playing with friends or something, or just wanting to go for a big hand, you'd 100% go for a full flush. I'm very content keeping this 3-5. Unless, unless we draw, like, a green dragon, or we continue drawing, like, a bunch of character tiles, I'm content keeping this in my, in my finishing hand. 
Ah, dude, I want to cheat at and go for a full flush, but it's just so risky and unnecessary at this point. Not only that, if we really wanted to, we could cut this nine and go for all simps as well. Okay, I mean, this hurts. Wow. This is a really cool hand. So now we, um, now, now we do go for the full flush, I think. Or we go for an early Ricci. Dude, I think we play a little more greedy. I think we play a little more greedy. Show me another, show me another character tile, dude. Also, if the player to our left plays another one of characters, we're a hundred percent cheating that. Um, the red dragon is a little more dangerous. Let's get it out of the way sooner. The three of uh, circles is not necessarily a safe tile. No one's discarded it yet, but that's okay. Oh, we can go for another Richie here. But unfortunately, it put us in for a 10. And, and we're we're playing greedy. But unfortunately, the tiles like didn't come in our favor. So we're really hoping to draw any character tile. I feel like a lot would help us here. Maybe a 6. Um, a 1 for sure. Oh, baby. This is a devastating hand. This is a thumbnail-worthy hand. You might have already seen it in the thumbnail at this point. This is a full flush with four weights. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is what dreams are made of. Holy moly. Oh, oh. Three one of characters have been discarded. Surely it's a safe tile to drop. Oh, he just discarded a two of characters. Surely the one and the three are safe tiles. Please. Please. Oh my god. This would be a monster hand. Oh my god. Oh, when it rains, it pours, baby. Oh, my, that feels... Disgusting. Actually disgusting. A Baimon hand. Not only that, we take 8,000 points, or maybe 4,000 points from the, uh, from the player who was once in first. Oops. Sorry. Did I ruin your whole freaking day? <laughs> wanted to swear so bad i think i've sworn in this video i don't know why i'm being so conservative now wow really gets the blood pumping you know holy moly it's like a willy wonka but uh instead of going into a world of pure imagination it's just pure domination let's freaking go dude okay this will be one thing this will be another thing this will be another thing let's let's try to do the five shapes thing Basically, I, I, I explained it super poorly uh, last video, but basically in order to win Mahjong, right? You need four um, sets of three and one pair. So what the five blocks thing is from the Mahjong books book that I've been reading is like, okay, you need four sequences and one pair or four triplets and one pair. So try to like imagine your hand is either like, oh, this is a could be sequence. So that's one block, could be sequence, two block, pair, pair, Maybe a triplet. Okay, that's... Oh, why did I pawn that? Oh, my God. I thought I was sitting in the north seat. No, 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 no. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. Okay. Unfortunately, we got we got a problem now. Uh, uh, don't publish this one to YouTube. But you had such a great hand, dude. Okay, a con. Yeah, it's the worst day of my life. Just con in my face. Okay. This is great. This is honestly great. What a convenient excuse to fold. Even though that the players at this table might not think that I'm... You know, maybe the players at this table thought I had something really nice. But I, I love folding here. Okay. Eight of characters is a safe tile to discard. Six of circles is also safe to discard. I think this two, they discarded right before they called Ricci. Or this player discarded before this player went into Ricci. So it's not technically safe. Eight is safe. They discarded it. This player is debating, I think, whether or not to chi uh, and push for their hand or to fold and just not deal in. This, this is what an extremely auspicious situation. The player across from us has dealt the nine, making the nine safe to deal. You'll love to see that. Okay, be just be a little careful, you sung. I mean, hopefully we don't get punished in this game. If we do, we deserve it. It's also, the, the player across from us is playing very uh, bold and brash right now, discarding um, extremely live tiles. Now, when I say live, I just mean a tile that hasn't been discarded before 
Um, so I think they're probably pushing to complete their hand rather than completely like, uh, you know, rolling over and folding like, like me. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens though. I, I don't mind if the player to our left sumos, there's still a lot of uh, point difference between them and I. Uh, now we're looking for more safe tiles to discard. So it's looking like this four is probably going to be our next target. This one also seems relatively safe. You never know. Oh, God. I mean, the four is definitely safe. The south wind, come on. Like, the south wind should be safe to discard. If if I was a betting man. We got nothing else. I've discarded two of them. They would have to have a single south wind weight. And there's just no way they, they would do that. Because it could also be in the dead wall, you know? Okay. Six of characters also be looking safe. Wow. The player across from us actually pushed and finished their hand. Wow. Pure double sequence, all simples, one Dora, two red five. Holy moly. What a nice hand. They played super brave. I wonder if their if their decisions were calculated, like, oh, I'm gonna push regardless of how dangerous it is because I got a good chance here. I I'm not sure, but that that was really, really cool. That was really, really awesome to see. Okay, this hand. Not looking great. The, the two and the five, they don't really talk to one another, okay? They're not really on good terms. Got another two. That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna discard this nine here, hoping, you know, that we draw another white dragon or green dragon, ho clinging on to some optimism that we have an easy Yaku so we can enter the all you can pawn and chi buffet. West Wind isn't gonna really help us here. We can discard that. This will be one shape, either a pair or a, or a triplet. This is a thing. This a four and five is gonna be a thing. One, two, three, four. We're still missing a fifth shape. So this hand is still got a ways to go. Either we're hoping to have something like here, like either making this three work into something else or this six work into something else, or hoping to draw like a four or a, a six here to make this five uh, suddenly have some more chances. Okay. This is interesting. But maybe we should get rid of this five. I honestly think that this is really greedy right now to hang on to this five. Because otherwise, we got a really uh, good chance of winning. We pawn the green dragon, discard the five, either pawn uh, the the two of characters with the aid of uh, wheels, or turn this into a sequence. And baby, we're in ten pie. We got a stew cooking. Okay, in retrospect, should have cut this red five uh, before that two. This is just a much, dangerous, much more dangerous tile to keep around. So we want to get rid of it early. If we're not using it, obviously, if we were using it, it's a valuable tile and we want, we want to keep it. Okay, we discard it. That's fine. That's fine. It passes. All right, this is looking like a good hand. Hopefully, we can finish it fast. Someone might be hanging on to one or two green dragons. That's okay. Certainly would put a... Ah. Okay. Wow! What a dangerous situation. We are 100% folding. Okay, thank God we didn't have to fold. I mean, this player is putting up an incredible fight. So they, they went for a fast hand rather than going for a 789 mixed triple sequence. But that's why it's worth it. If you can Richie and get an Ipatsu, which is uh, when you call Richie and someone deals into you within the, like, uh... Within four discards, like I call Richie, then the player to my right goes, player to my top, the player to my left goes, and then I draw. If I win on any four of those turns, then it's Ipatsu, and you get a, a thousand more points just for free, you know? That's the benefits of calling uh, an early Richie and, and winning, you know, when you when people aren't sure what, what are safe tiles to discard around you. So maybe we could have kept that and gone for a 7-8-9 mixed triple sequence. You're also looking at this and seeing like a 1-2-3 mixed triple sequence. I don't necessarily want to go for it, dude. I know we can, but we're just still a little too far away. I, I, I know we could totally go for it. We could totally go for it, but I'm not going to. This is a sequence right here. If we draw a 5 or a 7, this is another sequence. This is either a sequence... Uh, this is probably going to be our pair. Um, this is going to be our pair, and this is a sequence, and this is a sequence. So our op finishing hand is going to look like this is a sequence, this is a sequence, this is a pair, this is a sequence, this is a sequence. Maybe we can go for Richie Pinfu in that sense. No all simples, but that's okay. We'll be really sad if we draw like a, you know, one, two, three in every suit. 
but that's okay. Sometimes that just happens. So I know it's tempting to keep this for a one, two, three, but keep in mind, like we got to figure out a pair somewhere. We could make the four our pair, but the, the reason that the four, six, eight shape is good is because you can either complete it with a five or a seven and then just discard the tile that you don't need. Okay. That's not good. Okay. This is fine, but it's not looking too great. So we, I think we have too many uh, triplets right now, or too many pairs right now, because I, if I were to draw a five here, it'd be a little awkward. I have to get rid of both the six and the eight. Um, if I drew a seven, I'd have to get rid of the four and the six. Ah, it's not looking great. It's not looking great here. I, I mean, it's weird to hope for this, right? But we're in first place. I, we can also just hope that someone else calls Richie and then we can just safely fold and stay in first. I know that's very cowardly, but I'm pretty sure the 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 upper class has been employing this strategy for millennia. Okay, they did call Richie. We're going to discard this four because we know it's safe. Um, if we have to, we'll just tear up our entire hand. Honestly, it does not bother me in the slightest. Okay, two is also safe to discard. That's great. Um... Strangely enough, we don't know if the three is safe to discard. Probably, right? If they discarded a two, maybe they could have had like a four, five. And then maybe they finished this shape with like a, a five, six or something. Something along those lines. I'm pretty sure this three is safe. However, if they're waiting on like two pairs, like they, they just need to finish a triplet and they have two pairs that they could possibly win on, then this three is no longer that safe. They could very well be waiting on it to win. But I'm really curious, like, if this player ends up winning and showing their hand, if they have something like a 5, 6, 7 shape or something. Because I'm not sure why they would discard this 4. Um, also, if you're genuinely trying to learn Mahjong from me, uh, keep in mind that in the grand scheme of things, I'm still very noobish. Um, I'm still, I still don't know a lot. Granted, I'm in the expert 2-star rank and I just pulled off a sick um, Baimon hand. That's awesome. But like, I'm still trying to learn how to read players' discards a little, a little bit better than I currently can. Okay, so we know that two is safe. Love to see that. We, we probably the red dragon is safe, considering that two of them have been discarded. They could be going for an extremely devilish weight. Um, but probably not. Okay, thank God it passes. Anyone else clenching their entire body there? Okay. The player across from us just will not give up. You have to admire their tenacity. Three on hand for 4,000 points, plus they get the a plus 1,000 because the player to our left had their Richie stick. All right, all last. So this is a little tricky, right? Because uh, we definitely want to win this one and end the game right here. Um, un unfortunately, if the if the player who, across from us wins, um, they either we either do a salty run back uh, where we redeal. Or, uh, they get up to first place, in which case the match would end. Oh, thank God. So they did the nine terminal initial draw, which means your hand is Garbo and the game gives you a chance to, to redraw. That's phenomenal luck because my hand was so bad there. My hand was god awful there. Okay, three, four, five. Love to see it. One shape, two shapes. Something has to happen here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that works for me. You know what? That This also works for me. Holy moly. This is looking great. Not only that, dude, if someone calls a... Uh, if, if the player to our left discards a four of circles, we absolutely go all simples here and just go for a quick kill. Two, three, four, maybe. I'm not there yet. Maybe you could convince me to, to, to call something on that, but not quite. If they if they call a five or if they discard a five of bamboo, I think we also call chi there. Wow, great draws. Holy moly. Okay. Three, four, five, four, five, six. We can either this is why two pairs is really, really strong in a hand. Because we need a pair to finish our hand, right? So if someone plays the uh two of circles, we pawn that, we make that our pair. Someone plays the seven of bamboo, we pawn that, make the two our pair. Luckily, we got that going. And now we're either waiting on the uh, two of circles or the seven of bamboo. I know this is a little risky because there's uh, there's only one two of circles left and it's already been discarded. However, there's been no seven of bamboos left. Uh, maybe it'll come out. Okay. 
unfortunately here, if someone else is in like a winning position, we don't really have a choice in what we can discard here. We don't have a lot of options. We might be able to pivot into a different weight if we draw like a six, uh, a six of bamboo. So we can wait on a five or an eight. Um, this isn't that helpful, but I'd like to win. I'd like to win fast. And hopefully no one will be suspecting that like we're in a winning position here. That's very, very scary. That's honestly very scary. Maybe they're going for some kind of all simple shenanigans like me. Um, now it's, I, I hate to sound very cheesy, but it's kind of up to fate, you know? It's a real Jesus take the wheel kind of moment. Either I get my winning tile or you get yours. That's, I love Mahjong, baby! Okay. I've been so good all year. If there's a Santa in the Mahjong universe, just know that I've been really good all year. Mm, that's probably not true, but I don't really want to, like, uh, uh, litigate all my, or reevaluate all my, uh, my entire moral standing as a human being right now. So I'm just going to say that I've been really good all year. Northwind. Okay. Oh, we could switch to the six of bamboo, but I'm not really feeling it. This is very, very spooky. You, you got to think that the player from us across from us is also close to finishing their hand. Not only that, they just discarded a tile from the middle of their hand rather than a... Uh, the tiles that they just drew. So you know that they just drew a useful tile too. Okay. Maybe we should have pivoted to the six of bamboo. But it's like really hard to say, right? Maybe if we had like some, some serious mind reading powers or like we, we achieved God status in Mahjong Soul, we would have been able to tell. But I still think waiting on this two or this seven is, is not a decent or is not a bad thing at all. There's still two more sevens. Let's hope that they're not being used. I mean, this person isn't even going for... Okay, and there goes the battle. Oops. I mean, because this person wasn't even going for a mixed triple sequence. Like, this is five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. All right. Holy moly. What a great game of Mahjong, dude. I played great. The player across from us gave a good run for our money. You know how we end this video? One, by me saying, hey, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. It really means a lot. It helps the channel so much. Let me know if you're enjoying the Mahjong content. Plus 115. Let's go. We're at 800 in, in our uh, current rank. Um, got some event points that we could cash in as well. So we get two free summons in the game. Uh, and let's just summon a little. You know what I mean? Okay. Please. Please give me a cool new character that I can play with. A simple fanzine. Okay, that's literal Garbo. That's literal Garbo. Resummon. I only got one more left. I only have one more free summon. Please. New character just dropped? It's a large diamond. God damn it. Oh, God. Okay. Well, at least we played some really good Mahjong, right? Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. If you wanna, if you wanna hang out with us on Twitch, that link is in the description too. We play Mahjong every Monday. Uh, more than that lately. Um, you can also join us in the Discord. Uh, post your winning hands if you'd like. We all think that that's very cool. Uh, until next time, please take care of yourself. Okay. Remember to drink some water. Be kind and patient to yourself. Uh, even in Mahjong. Okay. Even in Mahjong. Um, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Peace. <laughs>